Well, 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 folks. In this internet age, we all pay our money to ISPs, internet service providers, and they tell us many things. Some of us are having trouble letting go of BitTorrents, and therefore they need an ISP that does not cap their data or slow down their data when the ISP say that they do not do either or neither of those. Well, what do you do? Well, first of all, you should try to do things legally. Uh, if you're having trouble, you're trying to adjust to that, fine. Um, but more importantly, you want to believe what our internet companies are telling us. What can we use to verify that they're telling us the truth? Welcome to Mobile Tech Heat. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Well, this app is pretty good. It's called the Netalyzer. Um, it's the mobile version of a desktop or computer program called Netalyzer that basically uh, tears apart your internet service. It itemizes, depreciates, and lists things that you should really care about. Um, HTTP uh, caching behavior, proxy connections, your DNS servers, resilience to abuse, NAT detection, other lots of uh, cool things uh, in, in English terms. Basically how fast your internet is, um, how well it does under abuse if everybody's using the internet in your area at the same time. And also, is the internet provider shaping your packets? What does that mean? Well, are they sniffing? What does that mean? <laughs> well, are they monitoring your internet traffic? That's it basically, folks. If you're using a VoIP, if you're using a VoIP phone or app or your internet service and they said you don't do that and all of a sudden your whole internet goes down until you cut that app off, what does that mean? Hmm. If you're downloading things and the internet service says, oh no, we don't care, you can download, go ahead. And so you download and then all of a sudden your internet goes down, hmm, what does that mean? Well, it could possibly mean that the company you are subscribed to is viewing your internet's traffic, monitoring you. So we're going to go to an example here. Let's see. Can quickly get to one. All right. So this is an example of uh, a summary from uh, Freedom Pop, the Freedom Pop mobile hotspot, which ultimately is from Sprint. So this is how Sprint treats you. All right, so they block some, some protocols outbound. They block some UDP protocols outbound. Uh, they they uh, go through a proxy, which explains. So this is the first summary. There's a proxy, which means you don't go directly to the Internet. First you go through Sprint servers, and then you go to the Internet. That could be good. That could be bad. It depends. All right, um, NAT detection. Now, green is good, orange is warning, red is bad. So we see here, there's a warning here. And it has detected a proxy, which might be just how, you know, internet service provider, the mobile ones roll. They go through their server first to do things. All right, bandwidth, we didn't execute the bandwidth, then check the buffering. Context-based proxy detection, we know that already. They're doing something there. So here it is, the shaping of the, the uh, packets of data that comes through the server. So they're changing the headers and the content slightly, and this app can tell. More importantly, the question is why. So as we go further down, we'll see one reason why. All right, let's see here. Okay. So, under the file type based filtering, this is where you will find the real good information. 
So it appears that they are compressing executable files. If you're downloading programs, they compress it using gzip and then it uncompresses once it gets to your computer or your device. So that, the speed, that speeds things up. So that seems to be okay. Even though they are in fact monitoring your internet service, in this case they're doing it for the good of all that are connected, speed things up. Files of MP3 types are unmodified. File types of torrents remain unmodified. And even this, this, this app is pretty cool. It even shoots a test virus out to see what's going on, unmodified. So that could mean one of many things. It looks like it means that they don't look for these things. They don't look to see if you're downloading MP3s, to look to see if you're downloading torrents. Now, some companies, some companies you are char they are charging you for virus protection. How would that be? Well, it's quite possible they use this technique here. They use the internet and your data traffic and they make sure there's no viruses happening. So if that was the case with this company, you would see that it would be modified in transit. Here's not modified in transit. We did not pay for our internet to be monitored for viruses. So it's unmodified. But that is quite interesting. Uh, we're going to focus on this area right here. It's what people really care about. Are the ISPs looking to see what we download? In this respect, Sprint does modify your executables to make it, to make it uh, download quicker. But they do not modify or notice or monitor your MP3 torrent it downloads and they don't know, they don't check viruses either. So, if you're downloading the latest version of Linux, probably from a torrent, you need to know you can get that Linux, put it on CD and do your work. Good to know the Sprint does not monitor that. So this, is, as you can see, is a very powerful tool. It goes in depth in other tests, DNS tests, JavaScript based tests. Let you know if it's good or if it's bad. Look at that. IPv6 tests. Make sure that is even future proof. Network security protocols. Interesting. We'll check that one out a little bit later host properties tests and you can even go to feedback there and type in some more information and send it to them let them know what you would like to be done even further or how you feel about the product that's cool um, so this is netalyzer testing it out this is anthony f mobile tech let us know what you think about it